So you've been invited to a party and you want to impress everyone and you also want leftovers from the food you're bringing, you've come to the right place. Hello everyone, my name's Emily. I'm a dietitian and today we are going to make the charcuterie board of your dreams. And today we're gonna to be doing a Mediterranean board. So inspired by, but not sponsored by, We got this as a present for Christmas. Beautiful boards by Megan Brown. And one of their boards is, hold please, Mediterranean board. We're gonna kinda use this as inspiration. I will make sure to link this in the description below if you're interested though. But let's do a quick haul though of everything we're gonna put in the board first or on the board first. So. We have a little assortment of things we bought from the grocery store and then also things we picked up from a Greek restaurant because there's just some things that we don't have the time or skill to make. So let's start her off. It would not be any type of charcuterie board with some out some dolmas. These are the stuffed grape leaves with like rice and spices. Apparently, come on, cute. Apparently, we did not get these, we were gifted these. We got these from, or the people who got these got these from Costco, I think. But we have these. You always need pita bread for all of your dips. Would it be a Mediterranean board without the Kalamata olives? No, it would not. We have our classic feta, tzatziki sauce, which is so good, so good. I guess I'm like unwrapping it. A cucumber. We have cherry tomatoes, of course. And then for everything we got from the restaurant, we got everything from Greek islands. If you know, you know. So we got some, hold on, let me, let me open this up a little bit more. We got some Spanaktopia. This is the like fried cheese. Something's making noise back there, ignore that. There's like a three dip appetizer. I'll include it here, what is in this. I could not tell you off the top of my head, but you always need dips. To go with our pita, this is our Spanitopia. And all the hot stuff we're gonna heat up before we put it on the board so it's nice and fresh. And then we have two containers of everyone's favorite Oh my gosh. Baklava. Amazing. Oh, I forgot one last thing. Sometimes they add nuts and stuff. I think at least the board inspiration had different types of like candy nuts and whatnot. I was gifted this little nut compilation thing nut mix from a patient because my patients are the sweetest and the best obviously so we're gonna add some of these on there too so we have a lot of savory some sweet dips there will also be i think like maybe 10 other boards there so there's gonna be a lot of food but for that perfect mediterranean we're not going to be upset about what we bring back the board we'll be working with is this one. A friend of mine actually engraved it. And it says, I don't know if you can read it very well. Oh, come on. Focus. I don't know if that's focusing. But it says bobbly, which is very cute and ombre. So that's everything we're going to put on it. Let's 
start assembling. All right, everyone, we're going to start assembling now. What we're gonna do is do this kind of in parts because I'm not completely sure how I want it to look yet. What we're gonna do though is do the dips first so that we can place them. Also, pro tip, put your dips in little bowls so they don't bleed out and spread out and everything else. And I don't want my hands getting dirty, so the rings are coming off. Okay, so we're gonna do the dips first. We have our tzatziki and we have our three mysterious dips that I can't remember from Greek Islands that I will include in the screen somewhere. So, I don't really have any fun thoughts or facts about this. There we go. So, <laughs> the trying. lighting's not great. No, it's too bright. It's like it's too neon. So we have also these little cute spread things that were gifted to us to borrow. We're gonna do bread items for the three dips. And then we have a cute little snowman. That'll be for the tzatziki. It's cute. So we're just gonna spoon our dips in. People like dipping things. It makes the charcuterie roll more fun. And since this one's a bit bigger, I'm gonna kind of put it in the middle and see how we like it. We can always move it around if we need to. Then we're gonna put our other dips into these smaller ones. The dips kind of got mixed together, so it's all going to the same place, so it'll be fine. It all goes into the stomach, so I've heard. We'll put our next dip in. I don't know what the best way to get this out is. We're just gonna... And you can always refill the dips. You don't have to make them completely full. Put this one here. Now. And our last one. The nice pink that matches my nails. That's all fish eggs. Fun fact. I didn't know what it was. Yeah, it's kind of off putting, but I still think <laughs> it's really tasty. Alright, I'm gonna put this here for now. And you need fiber and or we wanna make sure there's fiber. So give it a nice little rinse. We're gonna dry it off. Oh. Alrighty. And now we just chop some cubes. Nice. How did you start cutting the cucumber? I don't know line? what's happening. <laughs> Dude, start go straight, go straight. Hold just, on. I know, just ruin one. Look at that ugly thing. Oh. Why are you still going on the slant? I'm so confused. <laughs> Bro, those are huge cukes. We can cut them in half. Yeah. Oh my. She's not a fan. Okay, so these are a little bit big, so we're going to cut the big ones down. Um, these are fine. I zoomed in on the thickness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <Thanks. laughs> I wanted the people to know. Dude, I do not have steady hands. 
could not be a surgeon. Yeah, thank God I was not, guys. I feel like halves are fine. Yeah, they are. For sure. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Just a phenomenal halving job. Well, these are weird thicknesses. <laughs> It's fine. It's okay, they're here for the dips. They're not here for the cucumber. <laughs> These are a vehicle for the dips. So now we need to be a little bit more artistic. All right, we're going to make this look pretty now. We're gonna try to do a little train of cucumbers around, but we'll see what happens. up for interpretation. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Mm -hmm. The beholder is me. Folks, and what you have here is a cucumber train. And what that means is that it's more visually Have aesthetic. you heard of the human centipede? No, <laughs> that's not. I zoom out for one second and you bring me a human centipede reference. Holy. <laughs> Look at that cuke train, people. Mm -hmm. Cukes for days. It's like a little snake. Mm -hmm. Honestly, have you seen videos of cats where they get scared of cucumbers and yeah. zucchinis? I kind of love yeah. that. Big fan. So this is the current visual. And we're going to work around it. We have some extra cucumbers. So we'll just like bring these in a small container if we need to restock. Pita neck. So this is also what the people are here for. It's another vehicle for the dip. And we're gonna do like a little um, I don't know what you know wow that was not this is not even that's fine. Some might call them triangles. Yes that's <laughs> that is what I was thinking of. Let's layer down. Okay, so obviously they need to be close to the dips, but the dips are kind of all over, so that kind of gives us some free reign where we want to put this. I don't want it too close to the cucumbers, though. Mm, the cucumbers are all over. We're just going to stack them up here. They're little dips. Because this is a nice shape. This is going to be a lot of like picking with their hands. We've got to make it easy on them. I'm going to set these aside because I don't know. I think I'm going to want to do two things of this, but there's a lot else we still have. So we're going to start with this. What we're going to do next is another main meal item. So I think we're going to do this. We're going to do our dolmos next. I always rinse the top. Because there could be wrap poop on it from the grocery stores. We're going to just these we're gonna drain these because I don't want the excess juice you don't want it to be messy okay come on yonder probably should get on this side all right I'm gonna add these little guys okay we're gonna move the cucumbers the train was a fun idea, but it's taking up too much space. So we're just gonna do them around the bowls. These, luckily, we don't have to do anything with them besides just put them down. You can make a little pyramid. Yeah. Interesting. They're <laughs> so heavy. We have our little, our little pile. I guess we could add one more. We gotta get crazy. My hands are gross. This is the unseen. Gross hands. You can feel the oils. Look how gross that is. Oh my god. It's okay. You know what? I'm focusing on what's really important. Little turt. Look at him go. Wouldn't you like to know? Okay. Anyway. Any whom. We're just going to cut it into what I want it to be. And then... 
We'll just put it on a plate. They look like tofu. We're gonna have a little pile of fried cheese. Yum. And then we're gonna do the Spanktopia. This one might get a little messy. The last part we're gonna do is the baklava. Move the cheese so there's more space. Which we did off camera. want to put anything together that like melds together too much luckily we don't really have anything besides the dips that would do that so we're fine okay and now we're just going to fill in the cracks with our feta olives and nuts just kind of wherever we can find space so i'm gonna wash my hands again so the last things we're gonna do oh and tomatoes all right we're gonna just cut a little bit of the cheese because there isn't really that much space We don't have too, too much space left, so we'll just do a couple tomatoes here and there. And we're going to add some Kalamata olives in whatever crevices we can find. add a couple of them here and there because we don't have too too much space the last part we'll just be filling in any whether the tiny hole we'll add some of these nuts It's already pretty full, but this is how we're gonna end it. So then this is what you can bring then for your Mediterranean charcuterie board to your next friends event. Oh, look how good it looks, cute. Make sure you bring the extra containers and everything with you just in case you need a restock and whatnot. I took out all of the little dippy things because they were just not meeting the aesthetic, you know, for the pictures and whatnot. But I'll take you along, show you kind of all the other boards that were made. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you make this, let me know. Comment below, tag me in it on Instagram or whatever works best for you. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs>
we'll catch you next week. Thanks guys.